Hi, I'm Rich Bontrager, The Trigger, and welcome to The Trigger Shots. The NBA Finals get underway tomorrow night. We're 24 hours away between the rematch between the Warriors and the Cavaliers. It's going to be Steph Curry meeting back up against LeBron James. Two players that in their rightful uh, own ways are all-stars, are great players. Totally different, though. One is a slash and dash, very quick moving. One's a powerful force, strong and dominant man, a tower. One of them would like to be considered probably in the same stature as a Michael Jordan. And it really has made no bones about it. I'm talking about LeBron James. Now, LeBron has made the news again today through social media when asked about the fact that the Warriors appear to be the big favored, the favorite team, the crowning team once again, to go all the way to the championship, much like they were in the playoff run when the Warriors were picked. They easily slide through. And we all saw how well that played out, didn't we? Yeah, it, it was not an easy one, partly because Steph got hurt. But not only did the injury of Steph Curry affect the Warriors, it also affected Steph because he would be out there warming up, practicing, saying he was ready to go, but he wasn't really ready to go. And then it began to affect the team play and how they were viewing themselves of what part do we play, how do we blend together, what's it like without Steph, is Steph in, is Steph out. And that series went on and on, and it was not a walk in the park. But LeBron James is quoted as saying, I really don't care about that stuff. It's all stupidity. Now, I can understand partly what LeBron may be pointing to. There's a side of me that would like to think that he is saying all the hype, all the stats, all the stuff that you media people pump out there. I'm just not going to play your game. I'm not going to buy into it. It's all stupid. But then there's the other side of me that I really don't think that's what he may be leaning toward. We saw it during the NBA playoffs. When LeBron would come to the interview room and LeBron would say things like, I have a game plan. I know what I'm going to do tonight. Watch what I bring to the table when my game plan unfolds. We saw something where he didn't care about the team as much as he cared about himself. $24 million, LeBron James. That's the deal. He stands at six foot eight, 250 pounds. He can, he can shoot and power up and black out. He's a powerful force. But is he a Michael Jordan type player like he would like to be? I say no. I don't believe he is because when you make statements like that, you are telling your team, this is about me, this is about LeBron, this is not about the Cavaliers, and it's not about the coach. And in fact, I am above the coach. And that is not an MJ type of statement. Because if you are going to be that caliber and statue, you have to move beyond the stats and move to the heart. And I think LeBron needs a little bit of heart surgery to find out what he really feels about team. We've all heard it said there's no I in team, and it's very true. But the players that seem to elevate themselves into a leadership role, which he wants, which he believes he is, they find a way to really make it about the team and not about themselves. The stats will come. No matter what the sport is, the stats will be there. Think back to Monday Night Football. you got to go back to Brett Favre and the loss of his father. But Favre was definitely shaken to the core when he lost his father, his mentor, his coach, his best friend. And the team and the coach all told Brett Favre, you don't have to be here. Yeah, it's Monday Night Football. Yeah, it's the big stage, but this was your dad, and you don't need to be here. Far the leader that he was, 
communicated to a team, but I do need to be here. This is what dad would want. This is where I need to be. And I'm going to play for the team. And I'm going to play for dad. And I'm going to play for the coach. And I'm going to play for the fans. That's when a leader steps up and moves from just being a stat to something much, much more. And a team will rally around it. And that night, the Green Bay Packers rallied around Brett Favre. The players made it very clear in the locker room, on the field, in the post game. Brett Favre was going to throw passes he never should have thrown. He admitted that. His players dove, ran, made cuts, made blocks. They did things because it wasn't about the game anymore. It was about the heart of Brett Favre and their leader who was taking them someplace that even the broadcasters had no idea was even possible that night. Now I say that wondering if LeBron has that ability. He wants to be the marquee player of the NBA. Steph Curry would like to be that type of a player as well, but I think Steph realizes that right now he doesn't have that. Oh yeah, he's got numbers. He's got stats. Uh, but I don't think Steph believes he's quite ready to talk about I am the next MJ. LeBron has that vibe and that feeling come out of him where he believes it and he wants to show it through this NBA championship series. Now, the fact remains, the broadcast world believes that the Warriors are going to take this one. I believe if LeBron can get past himself, if he can do the heart surgery, if he can stop talking about I have my game plan, Watch what I will bring tonight. And so it's talking about the we. And so it's talking about the coach. If he can trash his plan for the sake of the Cavaliers, I believe we see game six. And I believe it will be a repeat then of what we saw when the Warriors struggled to get to where everyone said they were destined to get. And instead of being we just crowned the king because we knew the king was going to be there, it's going to be the dogfight that everyone wants to see. It will be LeBron and Curry going at it. It will be the inside game, outside game, the big men. Because on paper right now, the stats bear it out. The Warriors can dominate the series. The Cavaliers don't have the defense matchup. They don't have the easy X's and O's. But could it be the missing piece is the heart of LeBron James. It's a rematch of last year. But it doesn't have to be a repeat of behavior, conduct. This year, I believe LeBron James has the ability to maybe take one step further closer to falling into the category of being a Michael Jordan type of player. I don't think he's there yet. I think he's still within the bubble of the possibility of being there. Oh, and if he does not get this crown, if this is not going to happen, the question then becomes, what sort of a player really is LeBron James? I think the conversation will be more about LeBron and not about what Steph Curry is becoming because Steph has definitely got a trajectory and a direction, and I think he still knows he's in development. LeBron thinks he's arrived. He's there. What do you think? Let me hear back from you. Join the conversation. You can do it right here or follow us on Twitter, Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram or triggersports.com. That's my trigger shop for the day. I'm the trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Till next time, have a great one. And let's see who wins the Cavaliers or the Warriors in the NBA Finals.